Hello, Super Duper Tubers! Welcome back to Keanu's Lego The Incredibles Let's Plays! In the last episode, we managed to to do some more free, pi free play levels and stuff. And we managed to get Hyper Shock and the Flange and Screech and a lot of others. Yeah, this is Screech. Yeah, he can fly by using owl wings. And the reason why he's called Screech is because of this. He can actually scream. Because, you know, his name is Screech. The phalange. Listen closely. The phalange is back. Oh, but don't listen too closely. Yeah, there, yeah, we'll need the phalange because there's one part of this level where we'll need to use so, a, so, a sonic power, like a scream. Yeah, like we need something to break glass. Okay, come on, there we go. Wow, this card is oh, I can hear some I can hear some music in the background. It's not it's not the game music, it's outside my door. I think it, I think that's my brother Ashton. Managed to get true super. Hmm, the character that can mind control. Ah, someone wise has summoned Eversir. And that wise person, that wise somebody was me. Also, I actually saw Incredibles 2 in theaters when it came when it came out the same year. Yeah, this is the part we need to use the phalange for. Okay, we need to be Violet and Dash. Also, did you know that Dash has a full name? According to the first movie, according to the first movie, it's Dashiell Robert Parr. Also, I've seen some uh, Lego, I mean, some some Incredibles and Incredibles 2 YouTube poops on, on, here on YouTube, and they're hilarious! Okay, we need a character that can float. I'll use Brain Freezer. Oh, sorry. Ice in the hole! Ice cream. 
That does sound good right now. We need a character that can crawl through. Spot! We'll use Spot from The Good Dinosaur. I haven't seen all of The Good Dinosaur. I do know the plot. It's about a Brachiosaurus who he's trying to face his fears and become a grown-up dinosaur. I wonder if I could use Lightning McQueen in here. Nope, he's too big. Because, you know, he's a car. Gamma Jack. Whoa! Gamma Jack can glow! That's awesome! We need a character that can warp. Void! Make a portal! Also, if there was a leg, if there was a Lego Team Houston game, then it would have all the characters that were featured in the episodes, like not just the members of the Team Houston community, but also like the characters that were guest stars in the episodes, like like uh like like uh the Wiggles and the Wiggles friends, the little Einsteins, the Weeble characters from the Weeble series. Uh, the cast of Bear in the Big Blue House, and, uh, the Smiling Critters, and lots of other characters. How can you use it back at the restaurant? It's, it's a mini kit. Apparently not. I'm gonna try Junior's Edna mode. Put a bit of bump. This operates the elevator, if you didn't know. Also, each character would have their own abilities. Each character in the Lego, if, if there was a Lego Team Houston video game, they would have different abilities. Like, for instance, I could turn into my giant skunk form, and I could also use different elements. Dehydra! Hypershock! Sonic Sphere! Oh, 
Okay, now it's brick build. Oh wait, we don't have to do that. We don't need to do that. I could just use Byronic. We could just use Byronic for this. Byronic. Okay. Apogee. Down. Oh yeah, did I mention that Splashdown is pretty much the Incredibles version of Aquaman? Okay, brick target has been achieved. Let's go. Let's build. Okay, dash, and violet. Psionic sphere, and go! Run, 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 run! Tuck it up, tuck it up, I'm gonna shut you down. What happened on this map where the road is wide? Trying to finish it side by side. That's a that's a song from uh, the Beach Boys. That's shut down. Talk it up, talk it up. Money gonna shut you down. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my microphone fell. All these studs.
So we have to fight Mr. Incredible in order to get to uh, in order to get the, to the minifigures that are down below. His scream it the flanges scream isn't effective against him. Yeah. Also, did you know that the Phalange actually has a secret identity? Well, every superhero has a secret identity. Well, except for Universal Man, he's not satisfied with his. Well, the Phalange's secret identity is he's an opera singer. Yeah, an opera singer. That's what he is according to his NSA file. I think I should rewatch The Incredibles 2, probably. It's been a while since I've seen it. Ah, there it is. Spot. studs I have I managed to get into the hundred millions I managed I managed to get into the hundred millions a hundred forty million two hundred fifty six thousand studs fire in a hole Character that can use electricity. Plasma bolt. Russell for this. Bingo! Got the mini kits in this level.
The Micro Hydro Liner. Nice. Yes. Yeah, the Hydro Liner is that boat that was that was in that was that Dev Tech used in order to do the TV broadcast and on making on making all the supers legal again. Also, this might be a little early, but I just made my Christmas wish list. Yeah, you guys know what I asked for? I asked for the, la the last remaining smiling critters of my plush, for my plush collection. Yeah, so... So I have three Mob Entertainment Smiling Critters plushes and one Fat Mojo, fat, one Fat Mojo Catnap plush. So the only ones I need for the Mob Enter for the Mob Entertainment plushes are are Crafty Corn, Kicking Chicken, Hoppy Hopscotch, Dog Day, and of course Catnap. And for the Fat Mojo ones, I'll need Dante, I'll need C Bobby Bear Hug, Crafty Corn, Bubba Bubba Fint, Hoppy Hopscotch, Kicky Chicken, Picky Piggy, and Dog Day. Oh yeah, some vehicles you need to be placed on water. Okay, who, what's this one? Oh, it's Evelyn Dever. Who, who, spoilers, is the, the villain of The Incredibles 2. Oh, it's Winston Dever, a.k.a. Win. Okay, what's this one? Meta Man! All right. Yeah, this is another super that died because he had a cape. Set complete. Yeah, let's trap Meta Man. Yeah, this is Meta Man. Yeah, Meta Man died because he had a cape. Just like what happened to Thunderhead, Stratogale, S Splashdown, and soon D Dynaguy. Oh yeah, they gave him a, a stereotypical heroic. They gave him a, a super, a, a stereotypical heroic voice. Yeah, a great Okay, let's do another level. We've already free played the Incredibles 2 levels. Now we have to complete the Incredibles 1 levels. Starting with the Glor the Golden Years, aka the opening scene from Incredibles 1. Thunderhead. Yes, we know who you are, Thunderhead. Thunderhead really sounds like a dunderhead. <laughs> Get it? Thunderhead, dunderhead. They rhyme. Y you get it. They both rhyme. You just replace the T the T H in Thunderhead with a D and you and you get Dunderhead.
the golden years. Getting into super work later in life, Reflux is the oldest super still fighting crime. Wow. What a trooper. Mm. Also, here's a question for you guys. If you guys had superpowers, then if you guys had a superpower, what would it be? Would it be the, the power of flight, laser eyes, hydrokinesis, pyrokinesis, super speed, ice breath, or something, or multiple, multiple superpowers like the Powerpuff Girls? If I had a superpower, it would be the power to shoot skunk musk from my from the palms of my hand. And it turned into a giant purple skunk. Like in the Team Houston universe. That would be awesome. And my and my and my sm my my skunk stink would actually be it would actually be a pleasant smell for good for for good guys. But a, but a foul, awful, rancid smell for bad guys. It depends on what position you're in. If you're a good guy, then the smell is, is pleasant and, and, and sweet smelling. But if you're a bad guy, it's rancid and sour and, and well, smelly like a skunk. Taste the power of hydrokinesis! Okay, let's use Meta Man for this. Huh? Yeah! Oops. Okay, let's. Downburst. Oh yeah, downburst can actually, downburst can actually, if you remember, or actually, yeah, he actually has the power of atomic manipulation. He can actually m manipulate the atoms. He can actually fix stuff. Like he said, his secret identity is his hobby is making bicycles. I think I wonder if I wonder if Downburst can reshape these these bomb voyage goons into into bicycles. That would be funny to see a character get get an, have an enemy get reshaped into a bicycle. And pretty brutal too. Now you now that you think about it. Yep. Look, there's Carl Fredrickson's house right by, in, the, in the background. Yeah, that's Carl Fredrickson's ha flying house from, uh, from up. 
I wonder why Carl Fredrickson isn't a, isn't a playable character in this. Oh, probably because he's an old, he's an old, he's an old man. Well, Reflux is also an old man. Ugh. But he's also a super. Gazer Beam. He would have been appropriate for this stage because this did take place during the 1960s, I think. Also, did you know that of all the members of the Thrilling Three, Gate... Of all the members of the Thrilling Three, Gazer Beam sadly can't fly. The only ones that can fly are Apogee and the Phalange. Gazer Beam pretty much gets around in a in a chopper, you know, a helicopter. Apogee is here to break up the city. Oh yeah, Apogee has the power of solar has a solar attack. I'll use Edna Mode's drone. Trade win. Already got a few, but I'll take it. Aerokinesis. Mr. Credible. Yeah. Universal man.
Ha! You have been beaten by Universal Man. Oh, a helicopter. I wish I had my own personal helicopter. That would be awesome. I use Woody. Okay, just one more brick to find. Come on! Oh wait. How you? Oh yeah, we have to go in here. The, the incredible brick is in here, in the in this flooded building. Okay, now let's do an Incredibuild. Let's do this! Don't you just- don't you just wish superheroes were real? That would be cool. I wish superheroes were real. And I wish I was a superhero. Up we go. Skip. the fire alarm. I'll just use some different supers. Universal Man. And... Laystone. Yeah, Beta Force. Bomb Voyage. Crap. It's getting away. Brain Freezer. Oh, 
Downburst. We'll use Downburst. Fix, 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 fix. Screed Slaver. <laughs> Shit, it's getting away. I'll use Sully for this. Crap, laser beams. <laughs> Super roar. Also, Sully is one of the characters that can actually hyper jump. He can do a, a super jump, even though even though I don't think he does it in the I don't think he does that in the movie. Trapped in a box. Because, you know, he's a mime. Oh wait, why should I be avoiding these? I have the invincibility, I just remembered. There's the last one. Save an exit. So here's the mini kit. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Micro Up House. 
Yeah, it's a it's a micro version of Carl Fredrickson's house from Up. My phone's not going to die, it's just, this, these loading screens are so tedious. This is the micro up house. Okay, what, who's this one? Macro Burst! Skunktastic! And this one? All right! Psych Wave! <laughs> yeah, I can show you Macro Burst. Yeah, this is Macro Burst. Just like Apogee and... Just like Apogee and Blaze that he pretty much hovers. And he's also got aerokinesis. And here is Psych Wave. Yeah, she look I really like her idle pos her idle standing, her idle stance. She looks really seductive. And even when she when she walks, she walks like a seductress, kind of. Wow, Psych Wave is pretty. I really like her, her. I really like her idle po her idle pose. She looks very, very uh, seductive. Driving seems like a smart choice. Yeah. So this so this micro up house is pretty much a. Uh, it's a flying vehicle. And the horn is actually balloons popping. Get it? This Carl Fredrickson's house is it is held up by balloons. Here it is.
Also, I really love her running animation. Also, I really like her outfit, the lavender and purple and the purple mask. I really like it. It's very, very nice. Whoa. <laughs> when she falls onto the ground, she does a little poke. She does a little laying down um, side pose. Do they really make Psych Wave into a, seductor, a seductive character for the game? I mean, look at her. She's got bedroom eyes and she's got a seductive pose. And and when she and when she falls, she she does a little sideways laying position, or whatever. And we don't have, but well, we don't have all the NSA supers yet. Oh, thank you. We don't have all the NSA supers yet. We still need to get Storm aside. Yeah, we ha actually have. Yeah, we actually have all the members of the Fantasmics. Those being, those being, Everseer, Mac Macroburst, Psychwave, and Plasma Bolt. It's pretty cool that Macroburst has aerokinesis. He's pretty much bending air, kind of like Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender. Even though... Yeah. Also, the, the, the dev tech tower is actually the highest point in the game. This is the highest point in the game. <laughs> I like, I like the way when when she's fall her falling animation. She looks like, she looks like she, she looks like she's, it looks like she needs to pee almost. No, seriously. Watch this. Whoa. Wait, is wait, is is Brick a female? Because if you look at her uh if you look at her uh her uh, junior's minifigure, she has breasts. I think she's a, I think she might be a female. I think this move is pretty cool, the hyper jump. Yeah, almost all big big characters can jump. 
I wish I had this move. I just love jumping around using this move. Yeah. You know, my my skunk, my giant, my giant skunk move in Team Houston can also do this move, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna hyper jump off here. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, that was pretty cool. So I'm gonna stop right here, and in the next episode, we're gonna do the rest of the like the free play modes and hopefully we can get storm aside so thank you guys for watching this episode of my lego incredibles let's plays make sure to like comment subscribe ring that bell icon share on social media yada 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 and i'll see you guys in the next video okay bye